Hi, my name is Angela Huffman. I'm an APQS dealer and educator, and I have a border design to show you today called Half Blossom. I've got a border chalked out, and I've actually given myself some other registration lines to give myself spacing between each of the motifs, and it'll just help me kind of keep things even. So I'm going to head into just a little loop. And when I finish the loop, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to do a fairly large petal. And these petals have little dips in the top of them. So I would call these lettuce leaf um, petals. Or if you're familiar with some of the different feather plumes out there, this is a lettuce leaf top is what I would call it. When I get back to the center of my little flower, I'm just going to fill it in with little bubbles, little pebbles. You could fill it with... Um, Oh, micro stipples or something. I just like the look of those little pebbles. And then I'm going to travel down my um, border until I get to my next little tick mark that I've made to give myself another little bubble. And then I'm going to head back out. And this is, oh, I want to say it's like a three inch border I've got chalked out here. So it's, it's actually fairly large. Um, but this will fill the space nicely. And each of my little petals has a little, you know, variation to it. I'm not a computer. So that just adds that human touch. And let's, let's play around. What, what, I want to see what happens if we put um, a vein in each of these. So I'm just going to go back around and put a vein. I'm not sure if I'll like it or not, but here, we're just trying something on the fly and seeing, well, you know what? I kind of like the vein. It's just a little spiky branch. All right, so I'm gonna travel down my border and I've got my corner chalked out. When I get to the corner, I'm gonna make a loop and then I'm gonna make my little lettuce leaf. Um, some people call them molars. You know, they got that dip in them just like a molar leaf has at the top of it. And I am in manual mode just so that you can see better with the camera, but I would probably do this in um, stitch regulation mode if I was doing this on a real, a real quilt. So I filled it with my little pebbles and I do like the little, um, the little veins in each of my little pebbles. So I'm gonna go back and add those and then I would be able to start headed back down my quilt and make my next little flower. Thanks for watching. If you'd like more information about APQS machines, contact your local dealer, visit your local APQS store, or visit us online at apqs.com. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you're notified every time a new video is posted, and join us on Facebook. We'd love to see what you're working on.